Hello children, this is Mrs. Haripriya from Pon Vidyashram. Welcome you all for the chapter Socialism in Europe and the Russian Revolution part 4. In the previous video, we had seen what is the First World War, who are all participated in the First World War, what are the effects of the First World War and the February Revolution in the Petrograd. Uh, how come the International Women's Day and uh, what are all the effects of the February Revolution? Now, in this video, we are going to see about the revolution of October 1917 and what are all the changes happened after the October Revolution. Are you ready to see? Yes, let us go. October Revolution Lenin was apprehensive of imposition of dictatorship by the provisional government on 16th October 1917. He convinced the Petrograd Soviet and the Bolshevik party to agree to a socialist seizure of the power. So a military revolutionary committee was appointed by the so Soviet under the Leon Tronsky to organize the seizure. The uprising began on the 24th October. In the morning, the military men loyal to the government seized the buildings of the two Bolshevik newspapers. So, the provincial government troops were sent to take over the telephone and telegraph offices and protect the Winter Palace. He is Mr. Lenin who is the leader of the Bolshevik party and on this side he is the minister Kerensky. So the military revolutionary committee moved swiftly and ordered its supporters to seize the government officers and arrest the ministers. Later in the day the ship Aurora shelled the winter palace, various other vessels sailed down the river Neva and took over various military points. The city was under the committees controlled by night and the ministers had surrendered. At a meeting of the All Russian Congress of Soviets in the Petrograd, the Bolshevik action was approved by the majority. This is the picture of the ship Aurora. It is a winter palace in the St. Petersburg. So this is the church in the St. Petersburg. By December, the Bolshevik controlled the Moscow Petrograd area. The people involved were the Lenin, the Bolshevik and the troops, that is the troops of the provincial government. So, what are the effects of the October Revolution? The Bolsheviks were totally opposed to the private party. Most industry and banks were nationalized in the November 1917, which means the government took over the ownership and the management. Land was declared as a social property and the peasants were allowed to seize the lands from the nobility nobility people. So in the case of cities, the Bolsheviks enforced the partition of the large houses according to the family requirement. They also banned the old titles of the aristocracy. To implement the changes, the new uniforms were designed for the army officials following by a clothing competition organized in the year 1918 when the Soviet hat was chosen. The Bolshevik party was renamed as the Russian Communist Party. Elections for the Constituent Assembly were held in the year November 1917. The Bolshevik failed to get majority after this election. The Assembly rejected the Bolshevik measures and Lenin dismissed the Assembly in 1918 of January. Lenin thought that the All Russian Congress of Soviets were more democratic than the Assembly because the Assembly was elected under uncertain conditions. 
In March 1918, the Bolsheviks made peace with Germany at Brest-Litovsk in spite of opposition by their political allies. In subsequent years, Bolsheviks became the only party to participate in the elections to the All-Russian Congress of Soviets. The All-Russian Congress of so Soviets became the parliament of the country russia became the one party state trade unions were kept under the party control the secret police punished those who criticized the bolsheviks many writers and artists who had earlier rallied behind the party felt disillusioned because of the censorship being imposed by the bolsheviks the civil war after the land distribution ordered by the bolsheviks the russian army began to break up most of the soldiers had come from farming background and hence wanted to go home for the redistribution of land non bolshevik socialists liberals and supporters of autocracy protested the bolshevik uprising their leaders moved to south, south russia they organized troops to fight the bolshevik which is actually called as the red army the green army that is the socialist revolutionaries and the white army that is the pro czarists controlled most of the russian empire during the year of 1918 and 1919 they were backed by french american british and japanese troops these forces were worried at the growth of the socialism in russia a civil war ensued between these forces and the bolsheviks supporters of the private property among whites took harsh steps with peasants who had seized the land but such actions led to a loss of popular support for the non bolsheviks the bolsheviks took control of most of the former russian empire by january 1920 they succeeded because of cooperation with non russian nationalists and muslim jihadists but the cooperation did not work where russian colonists themselves turned bolshevik in kiva to central asia bolshevik colonists brutally massacred local nationalists in the name of defending socialism finally in december 1922 the soviet union was formed from the russian empire most non russian nationalities were given political autonomy in this union to prevent oppression by the russian colonists but various unpopular policies of the bolsheviks meant that the attempts to win over different nationalities were only partially successful till this i end up my session my dear children in the next video we will see about the stalinism and collectivization and the making a socialist society and the global influence of the russian revolution and the ussr and up to that our lesson will be over until then thank you and take care children bye